It's not often that a Formula One driver invites you to spend time with them when they're off duty, but I've come here to Mexico to do just that. Is this very traditional? Very traditional, yeah. Tacos with shrimp, the, the grilled shrimps. You can just have this in Mexico. Do you miss Mexican food when you're away? To be honest, I got used to it. I, I don't think about it. But uh, when I think or when I, when I see pictures of the, of the food, I miss it. It's very unique, with the food in Mexico. Which one are you going to have? Are you going to have some frozen yogurt? Yeah. I go for yogurt. I put coconut yeah. and uh, rampopi. It's like tequila, a little bit. But it's not like kind tequila? Of. No, no, no. <laughs> it tastes a bit like. Okay, but, it's, but it's not alcoholic? No. So then we put chocolate, just a little bit of chocolate. <laughs> Why do you come back here? Loads of the drivers have nice apartments in Monaco. Why do you come back home? Why is it so special? Yeah, first of all, thanks for, for coming to see my, my country. And for me, it's very special, you know, because uh, the way I see it is I have my, my work life, which is Formula One, you know, but I also have a, a personal side, which is quite far apart from Formula One. And here it's, it's where I grew up, you know, coming here to these beaches, to to these places and uh, just like to, to spend a good time with uh, quality time with, uh, with my family here. Does it help you switch off because when you're in that Formula One bubble the pressure is immense isn't it? It does. When I'm here it really switch off. I mean you saw the day that we, we just had you know we do some some training and, and then afterwards uh, have a, a little ice cream uh, walk around and, and it's just a, a beautiful place. I feel that Mexico is one of the best countries in the world to live, to, to invest, to, to grow up. You know, I just love so much uh, the seas, the mountains, the food, the culture. We have so much things to offer in, in Mexico. It's been a really tough year for Mexico since last year's devastating earthquake. But earlier this year, Sergio Perez's foundation handed over the keys to 34 new homes to those made homeless by the quake. With the earthquake, we got to, to raise so much money for, to help our, our country. And not long ago, we just gave the, the houses to the, to the family that basically lost everything. And we are keeping, uh, we, we keep a close loop on them to try to to keep raising good money. I feel it as an obligation, really, you know, to, to give back. I've been so lucky in my, in my life uh, in, in general that um, you gotta give back, you know. And uh, it's something that makes me feel extremely proud. You know, when I see the, the work that the, the foundation has done, I want to keep it going forever. Where does that rank on your list of achievements? Very high up, you know. Uh, personally, it's one of the highest achievements, you know. Uh, to look back and see what the foundation has done and, uh, and the group of people that we have in the foundation, the credibility that we have, uh, you know, it's something really, really special for me. Some people might suggest you'd be an ideal candidate to go into politics. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like politics, so that will not, not be uh, the, best, the best job for me. I love my country, you know, uh, I want to, to try and help, uh, try to help the sport. And one way or another be, be involved in helping the country, you know, but, but uh, politics, uh, especially in Mexico uh, or anywhere in the world, is, is not the right, the right job for me. Hi, nice to see Hi. you. Wow, have a look at this. Maybe you, you're seeing the next Mexican Formula One driver. 